Okay. All right. Welcome to Eat Up, my friends. I'm Don Sugat. And what are we doing? Tonight is the fourth installment of Make Thanksgiving's Great Again with Side Dishes. And tonight, it's going to blow your mind and it's going to take all those other dishes that we made the last three weeks look like, like, like Applebee's appetizers. Because tonight, we got the side dish of all side dishes. We got stuffings. Follow my Grammy's famous recipe. What's in the stuffings? Don't worry, we're gonna learn all about it. How come you never seen stuffing like this before? Don't worry, you're gonna learn all about it tonight on Eat Up. Are you ready, baby? All right, we come back over here now. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of business, all right? We're gonna get everyone on board here. And I'm going to show you guys how to make the stuffing that I grew up on this stuffing. Alright? This isn't stove top. This isn't stuffing that you got from Fresh Direct or, or from anywhere else you could think of. This is what I grew up on. Alright? It might not look like the stuffing that you're used to, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just different. So let's catch everyone up here and get everyone with us. Agnes, Gagnes, Jermaine, and Jack. All right, let's do this over here now. Uh, can build a relationship. All right, we got to share it. Right post. Listen, this stuff is confusing. Live. Follow along. All right, so now we got everyone on the Facebooks going, right? Let's see if we can get some Twitter peoples. All right, I got to do this for the Twitter peoples. All right, side dishes are going right to the Oscars, baby. Get, get, get. Don't worry about anything you're seeing on the news today. Don't worry about how we might have a bunch of people who wear white sheets over their heads running the country. It don't matter because we're coming together at the dinner table, and none of that stuff is going to affect us right here as we eat. It's gonna affect us as we leave the table. That's when we worry about it. All right? I know times are scary. I know. But we're here. Together, and together we can do anything. All right? So let me just do this business. Let's see how I get it. No? I'll figure out how to use all this stuff one day, but today's not the day. All right, let's do this. All right. I'm sorry, it should be smoother, I know, it's just, it's not, it's not like, uh, okay, so you're wondering, you're not watching a repeat with this t-shirt, today marks 40 years ago to the day that Rocky was released into the theaters, a film that's changed my life in so many ways, and the least I could do is wear the shirt representing the best film ever, that's right, I said ever, go ahead, say Godfather 2. Rocky's better. That's right. Let's just get the Twitter peoples on board here. Eat Up is live. Right now. All right, we put the link there for everybody. All right, now, who's following along here? What's up, Spanky Frank? Man, that's right. Kanye's going to just... Kanye's going to be the ruin of all of this here. No gobbly kooka. Oh, right, that's right, Keith. You got it. Back in on nuts. It's all right. So, what do we need to do? First thing we got to do for the stuffings is put your oven on at preheat at 350, which I got right there. Next thing you want to do is tell you people's to eat up pint mugs, right? They're leader mugs, not a pint, but they're drinking mugs. Remember last week we did the giveaway gimmick? Sean McCauley was the big winner. His mug will be out on its way to him this weekend. Because I work the next few days, so there you go. Sean, that's coming to you. I think I have your address already. But if you want mugs like this, they're going to be for sale soon. Right here on the Eat Up Show's fan page on the Facebook. And you'll be able to buy them for 15 bucks. There's going to be a limited run. Claim yours now, because we're only making what's ordered. If 15 people order, we have 15. If I order them and they come in, and all of a sudden someone wants one, you're going to be out of luck. You gotta move fast, baby. I don't know why I got 15s on the brain, but it's gonna be 15 bucks. 
And I don't know however many people want it. You just tell me and we go from there. What's up? Get the pink one. That one doesn't look good on camera. Oh. Jen said the pink one looks better on camera. The black one don't. But it will be the black ink. This big glass come to you. Right? We're going to have them for sale after the 1st of December's. Just in time for Christmas. Right? What are we doing? I don't know. All right. First thing we did is we got brown. Well, we pretty heat the oven, right? I got some sausages that I've already browned, right? Right? Nice and brown, right? If you can't see, it's tell me. I bring it closer. It's just sausage. What I did with the sausage is I took half a, I don't know, what, like a quarter of an onion, threw it in the pan with some garlic goodness that you guys can get over at IntensityAcademy.com. And I just browned it. That's it. There was nothing special to it. You could get ground sausage. Let me catch this up here so you know I'm going to just... You could get uh, uh, the sausage that's already ground and you don't have to worry about it. If you get sausage in the casings, it's just like the package of like the five sausage. Slice that casing open and squirt it in there, baby. Squirt it just like, you do to, just like I do to your mom. It's all right. Right in its face. And then you say, aren't you feel shameful of yourself now? It's the same thing. And we just put it right there, and it's going to be okay. You put it in there. If you get it in the casing, I'll show you a little thing. As you're cooking it, just chop, keep chopping it up with your spatulas, right? And then this way, too, you make sure it doesn't stick, and it's constantly turning. And you chop it up nice and fine. If you wanted to go to that extra step, you could take the chopped meat. The, uh, the sausage meat, rather, put it in a blender with some olive oil and the garlic goodness and the onion. Just spin it around a little bit because you want it to be nice and mashed, all right? Uh, the Rocky Channel on Pandora, I don't think it's going to have anything good. I think I might have a, have a station for it already, though. No, I don't. I'm actually got the Beastie Boys uh, station on. In honor of these these white these crazy white people going around graffiti at Adam Young Park over in Brooklyn, which kind of breaks my heart still. So we got the sausage browning. Now, while we do that, we got to make our mixture, right? We're going to take two and a half cups of uh, uh, breadcrumb. This is seasoned breadcrumb. This happens to be Italian seasoned breadcrumb. If you want to use different, you can. If you want to use turkey sausage, you can. There are no limits to this stuff, okay? It's all going to be what you like. All right, we're going to take some salt. Just a pinch, not too much, all right? And we're going to take some pepper. Again, this is going to be fun too. Don't they say the, the salt go light on? Because the sausage is salty, even if you use turkey sausage. All right, well, I like a lot of pepper in my, in my stuff, so we got that, all right? To the next episode. Oh, I just feel the music tonight, baby. All right, so what do you do for spices? Really, whatever you want, right? I happen to have a little of my spice that I use in my sauce, right? You could put parsley, you could put basil, you could put a little pesto if you wanted. Again, you're the Bob Ross here, I tell you this all the time. Don't ask me exactly what my soft spice is. It's kind of secret, even though I showed you guys back way back when, when I did the, the Sunday sauce recipe, right? Now, we're going to get some eggs, three eggs, all right? We got three eggs right here, we're going to throw them in. Sans shell, all right? All right. I break it with the, with the floor because I'm afraid I'm going to break the table. You know, and I can't have that. And if you think I'm joking, just, it'll just take one crack like that, everything's on the floor, then what? Do you know what I mean? And plus, this way, it could be a little more cognizant of any shells that fall in the thing. See if anyone has any questions. That's right, I'm getting it, Jessica. Cool. All right. What are we doing next? We got half a cup of water. I know my sister's probably sitting there saying, oh, he's doing something out of, out of sequence. It's all right. All right, we we'll take a little bit of the garlic goodness. How much? A shake. If you want an actual amount, I don't know, half a tablespoon. How's that sound? All right. Ooh. 
I'm going to show you guys what I got for my birthday. Early birthday gift from one of my co-workers, from Hoop. I love this old lady. She's crazy. I love her. But that. She got me a little spoon rest, right? But to the shape of a giant ravioli. How cool is that? And that guy right there over there now. And what's it on it? A spoon. I love it. I absolutely love it. So we're going to take some mushrooms that are cut up nice and nice and diced, right? We could take a handful, maybe two handfuls. How much exactly? I don't know. You figure it out. That's about two handfuls, right? Say I got more. Your hand's a little, I don't think anyone's going to have a big hand like this. You might need three handfuls. It's going to look just like this in the bowl. But did I put everything in? Yeah, I do. All right. We're just going to take our spoon here and just mix it up a little bit. Now, as you, you're stirring here, you see that you might have to put more water. If you do, you add it. Essentially, we're making like a dough. But don't add any water yet, because you're going to see, we got to add the sausage and we got some grease in there. Anyone have questions? No, no questions yet. All right. How are we doing over there, John? Good. Yeah? All right. All right. So we're just stirring. I'm not crazy about this song, so it's kind of good. Not that I don't like outcasts, I do. That's just, you know. So now we got a commercial because they fast forward to the song. All right, we just mix it nice. Now, if my sister was watching, she'd be telling me, uh, you're supposed to mix it with your hands right now. Not yet, trust me. All right. So now I want to take it, right? And I just want to make like a hole in the center. We didn't push everything up to the sides. All right? That's where I'm going to throw the, the sausages. All right. Let's get it all in there. My hands are clean. No more. I've washed them a bunch of times since I started this whole process this evening. All right. So now I'm going to take the sausage. The thing to remember about the sausage is if you make it, like, right now, it's going to be hot. So you're going to want it to stand for about 10 minutes before you start touching it with your hands. Trust me. Maybe we learned this yesterday <laughs> when we went through this recipe. Just dump it all into the bowl. All right, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Get it all in. You want all that grease because that's what the flavor is. And that's just going to determine how much more water you have to add. If any, you might not have to. I'm going to come around. See, that's what it looks like in a bowl. You see that? All right. Get a good look. You like it? You see it good over there, Jen? Alright, just make sure you guys get a good look. Too late to take it. It's okay. Alright. What's up, Olga? What's up, Lenny? We're just making some Thanksgiving stuffings. I'll show you right here because I know someone's going to come late in about a minute. Like uh, Russ and want to know what we're cooking this week. So, we got it right there. Right there for your latecomers. Alright. So now we're just going to take it, we're going to mix with our hands. This is definitely going to need some more water. I can tell because it's not forming any sort of a loaf or, or any sort of like, it's not sticking together, it's very dry. So I'm going to mix it as best I can right now and then I'm going to take, I don't know, another half a cup of water. And I'll get that in a minute. If it's too sticky when you go to cook it, it's going to fall apart as soon as you go to cut it. Which isn't not, not necessarily a bad thing because some people like it loose. But you don't want it to seem like it's powdery. And if you put too much water, it's still not going to stick. And it's going to fall apart. And it's going to taste water. Alright, so I'm going to put another, I don't know, like another, another quarter of a cup. Alright, don't worry about my hands. The water's got to be hot. I know that much. It's going to be very, very hot. As hot as you can get it at your faucet. That's not going to be hot enough. That's good. Alright, so you got to make sure the water's very hot. Dump it in. If you think you added too much water, what are you going to do? You throw some breadcrumb in. Dang! 
Thanks, Arch. That's exactly what we said when we started the show. All right. See this? I worry I don't want to put too much water. But it's all right. I have breadcrumb. I can always... All right, we're just mixing it up. You see, I'm just mashing it all together in my hands, making sure that the sausage gets in there with the mushroom. Oh, we might not have to add any breadcrumb. It might be good. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I'm going to add some more breadcrumb. Just like a handful, I guess. Like a normal person handful. That's my oven. It's preheated to 350. All right? Yeah, like a normal person handful. I'm going to put in a, in a minute. I'm just trying to make sure everything gets, that I can tell by the consistency. i got to get it all in. You know what I mean? Now, if you guys have a question, I kind of lost it on my screen over here. I, turn, I changed the settings on that iPad so that this way it doesn't turn off like after a minute of not use. So I need it to just stay on the whole time. It doesn't always stay on though. I don't know why. That's probably because it's the Facebook Live thing. Who the heck knows? All right, so I'm just going to rinse my hands off and I'm going to get some more breadcrumb. Oh, Any questions? All right, no. All right. All right. You see, it's just regular breadcrumb. I'll cover the name. Because listen, if you want me to say what kind of breadcrumb it is and say your name, you got to have some dough right me, buddy. That's the way it works. All right, we're just going to sprinkle some in. And look, I'm going to one step further for you people. It's backwards. You're not catching me like that. All oh, right, take a sip of the... What are we drinking? Red's apple. Mm. Hard. All right, some more ciders. We're saying with that autumnal beverage. It's all right. What's a six percent? This stuff, right? Eight. Eight. Hoo hoo! Yeah, baby. I'm gonna have to review that in a couple weeks. All right. So, so I'm mixing it up. I see that there's no water pooling up at the bottom, which means we're getting all the water into our loaf. There's no rich crackers. What's wrong with you? Oh, you might have been on camera there, Jen, when you came over here to do that. Oh, I hope not. That's alright if you want. No. Can't help it. I don't know. I wasn't watching. I was, my hands were inside of a, a pig's belly over here or something. So listen, if you're the type of person you don't want the, so the, the stuffing to look like a loaf like I'm going to do for you, you can put it inside the turkey. It'll cook, you know. I've never had it that way, in all honesty, in my life. But some people are very traditional like that, and that's how they like their stuffing. Go for it, you know. I'm just going to shove this in the behind of the turkey. It's okay. It's so disgusting when you think about it, how we eat, right? We shove this stuff inside the ass of a bird so it cooks, and then we eat it. <laughs> something wrong with us. Speakers might be onto something. It's like, oh, look, this comes out of the ground. I'm going to wash it and eat it. All right. Seems legit, right? All right. So this is nice and sticky. You can see the way it's like sticking to my hands. I have to say that this is mixed pretty damn well right now. All right. So I'm going to get my pan. I, have to, I do have to wash my hands because I'm not going to be able to operate and do the next few steps like this. I just can't. I tried, but I cannot. And I don't have like an OCD, all oh, my hands are dirty, it's just, I can't grab anything, you know? Alright, this drug and alcohol abuse commercial on the Pandora. Hit a little close to home here, huh? How do they know what, what we drink all the time? We don't drink all the time, I'm joking. I just kid, I kid. We don't. Alright, so, we're going to take our pan. Over here. And I'll show you guys everything in a few minutes, don't worry. Alright, so we're gonna take our cooking spray and we're just gonna we're gonna put tin foil down, right? And we're just gonna take our cooking spray. Just like that. We're not graffitiing, we're not writing your mom's name in the sand with our urine. Just to make sure no one has a question. Everyone just saying hello. A list. You know how long this is? No, seriously, I will be. I, I'm going to start. In the next few weeks, I have to update my website, donsugots.com, now that John wants to start updating it for me. 
And we're just going to do a food blog and all the recipes will be there. So don't worry. We just take this, right? Get it all in the bowl, in the, on the pan here. All right? All right. Get rid of that. And let me just take this and we're going to kind of form a loaf with it right in the middle of the tin foil. As best we can. Try to keep it solid. If you see a crack, like I got this crack over here, try to smooth it over a little bit. You gotta have a strong foundation, just like anything else in life. All right? So then we're gonna take our tin foil. We cover, cover it all up, nice. And now we're gonna really make it into a loaf, now that it's covered up in the tin foil. Anyone have a question? No, all right. All right. There you go. I'm going to just unwrap it and come over there and just show you guys what it looks like right now, okay? And you see the tin foil is already sticking so, to, uh, to the product. So let's come over here and see how it looks before I cover it all up again. You see how it looks? It's just a loaf. Whoop. It almost went on the floor. See how it looks? A little bit funny as hell if it just fell on the floor. So I'm going to recover it. Alright, and again, I'm going to form it into a loaf. Alright, and that's going to go into the oven. Try to put it in, let me clean my hands so I can do the rest of the next. Hold on. You know, last, just uh, to recap for you guys, last week we made the uh, uh, sweet potato uh, and gnocchis. The next day I had all sweet potato in my cuticles. For all the times I washed my hands, it was still stuck in there and embedded. Um, let's see that. I remember the slides. I remembered everything, I think. I don't think I forgot anything. Awesome. Alright, so it goes into the oven. Put it in for, at 350, put it in for 30 minutes, right? Take it out and you see. If it's not, like, crispy, if it's not, like, a dark brown, you know, then put it in for another 15 minutes and check it again. When you think you have it done, and the best way to take, to tell is take a toothpick, stick it in the top, pull it out. If it comes out and nothing stuck to it, and it's nice and dry, that means it's done, but you have to be careful. So pull away the tin foil like as far back as you can. You don't want to just check the top. You want to check the ends. You got to check it in different spots because your oven's going to heat it differently in different areas. Just do it's just physics. You can't help it, right? We're not. It's not a perfect. It's not a perfect world. So, like I said, you're going to pull it out. Pull the pull this back. Check the check it with your toothpick. If it's still really moist, right? Moist. I'm going to keep saying moist because I know people don't like the word moist. Right? Then it's got to go back in. When you think it's done and it's all nice and dry, every place you stick it and you stick it good, put it on the broiler for two minutes. That'll give you that nice crisp and what you want. And then you pull it out of the oven and this will be what you got. All right? I'm going to come over there and show you guys again. Anyone got questions? No. Awesome. Let's see. Grammy stuff and you should... I would love to do, I did mac and cheese like a few weeks ago, Bill, you weren't here. Baked in the oven, yeah, it was baked in the oven with bright crumb. You missed it, my friend. What's up, Gary? I'm always buckled up. So look, we got the stuffing right here. This is, when it comes out of the oven, you slice it nice like this, and here you go, right? This is gonna break apart a little bit. It's gonna break apart, you can't help it. A little bit, right, Anna? Mmm. Mmm, nah, nah. Oh, it me back. It's a little salty. But what are you going to do? The next time you make it, you just use a little less salt. Mmm. That's good. Alright. Anybody have questions? Mm. That's very good. So, you guys over there? Yeah. Alright. So, to recap, grab me stuffing. You see how easy it is. In the oven for 30 minutes, you pull it out and check it with a toothpick in a couple different spots. 
That's right, keep checking it. 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. As you break up that hour in those increments, you'll see it's going to be done. All right, at some point. Put it back in the boiler for 2 to 3 minutes. It's going to be golden, baby. Everyone's going to love you at Thanksgivings when you bring this dish. All right, trust me. But in all seriousness, I'll recap some more stuff. Congratulations to Sean McCauley. His uh, 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 Eat Up mug is going to be coming to him in the next few days. He'll have it. He'll post a picture of it. Right? I hope you post a picture of it showing everybody that you want it. Right? The Eat Up Leader mugs are going to be for sale after the 1st of December. Start to claim them tomorrow. I'll put it right up on the Facebook fan page group. Start claiming them. I think there's like six or seven that are already claimed. That's, people want these things, baby. So get yours while you can. I'm only making a very limited amount of them because it costs money to make. It'll be 15 bucks a mug. All right? What else? Keep track of everything that we're doing on the website. Hashtag handsome.com. Donstugots.com be updated soon. And that's where we're going to have a lot of the recipes for you guys with links to the videos on the YouTube page. YouTube.com slash Donstugots. Invite people to the show. You guys like that gimmick last week we ran? You share the feed and you end up winning a prize. Going to be doing more of that stuff in December as we get closer to the new year, right? Uh, I just want to say thank you everyone for watching. Happy Thanksgivings. Next week's my birthday on Monday. I don't know if I'm doing a show yet. I might not. I might just want to have someone cook dinner for me. Maybe I live like a king for a day. Maybe. We see what happens. It all depends. I say that now and then all of a sudden at 3 o'clock next Monday I'm like, I got to do a show for you people. And then I'm running around scrambling trying to figure out what I'm going to cook. But... Happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. Honestly, take the time. Put the politics aside. Take that time to enjoy some quality time with your family. You don't know when they're going to not be there anymore to annoy the fuck out of you. So enjoy it while you can. Until next week, keep banging, baby! Oh, we got to hit the thing over here now.